Welcome back. We are back from El Paso, but that doesn't mean the Cougs content stops. This morning I chatted with former WSU running back Max Borgie, who is now preparing to take his talents to the next level. Has not really sunk in that I'm really training for the NFL even. It's all kind of surreal. Max Borgie is now trying to make the surreal a reality. He believes he has even more to show to the world than what he did at WSU. I think kind of in my whole college career, I was never unleashed like I could have been unleashed. I would like to be in an offense where I am running the ball a good amount, but also catching the ball a good amount. Like obviously in Leach's offense, it was mainly just catching the ball, not, not really running the ball at all. And then under Rolo's offense, it was kind of just running the ball a little bit and not much catching the ball. So um, I think if you mix a little bit of both of those offensive styles and I find the right place, I think it can be real special and real explosive. That explosiveness, though, some others doubt, like NFL scouts. That only motivates him more. It's like he lacks speed or he lacks um, quick beat agility and just different stuff. And it's like, it's almost a good thing, I think, that because I know what I'm capable of. I try not to read all the BS and stuff, but obviously I hear from different people what they are saying and stuff. And um, it's, it's kind of funny. He'll have a chance to prove those doubters wrong at the NFL Combine, which he just received an invite to on Monday. Obviously, I've worked really hard to get to this point, and the Combine invite's a pretty big milestone. Um, just to go show everyone all your little, all your little athletic abilities, so <laughs> I'm excited to do that. What wasn't exciting for Max, though, was his choice to opt out of the Sun Bowl. It wasn't a decision he took lightly. Thankfully, Max says all of his teammates and coaches were completely understanding when he told them. That was obviously a really tough decision. Um, I'm a team first guy and I love my teammates and I've been through so much with my teammates, but looking at looking at my future and everything, um, obviously three of my starting alignment that I've been playing with this whole season, um, injuries, transfers, opt outs as well. So. Um, without them, I'm, without them, I'm really nothing, in my opinion. Um, so it was, it was just, it was a tough decision. But at the end of the day, I, I looked at it and said, "Hey, I can, I can go start training early and get ahead of people and get, get going on my dreams and my goals." The place that gave him the opportunity to go get those dreams and goals, though, was WSU. Here's his message to the fans. I just want to say thank you to every single one of them. I'm, I'm grateful for them and. They're always going to have a special spot in my heart because, <laughs> I mean, just looking back and thinking about those games where we're down and they're chanting my name and I get the ball and score. Being a Coug is special and only Cougs know what being a Coug is all about.